All right, today's the 6th of Jan, so let's take a look at what happened. So yesterday, the astrological hours were in the members area, as you know, and you got them as well. So that's 7 p.m. last night. Okay, remember 7 p.m. last night. That was also there. All right, 7 to 8.37, then 8.38 to 10. And we're going to finish, I said, at midnight. So that's your seven o'clock, eight o'clock. And by the time it's nine, 10 o'clock, it's way down here. And then we finish the night here at 11, that's at midnight there. All right, so nice little fall down, as you can see. And in the morning we had, as you know, 10.55, 12.17 and 10.55, 12.17. This is nine o'clock and that's 10 o'clock, right? So this is 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. So the market makes a top there, 12 o'clock. Goes up, look at that, resistance again. Right? And at the resistance, market boom turns down. All right, so all good. Let's keep that, let's just, okay, let's just keep these on in any case, whatever. All right, so that was Dow Jones. Let's take a look at gold. Gold, same thing. Same thing here. All right. In the morning, it came down here. That's at 10 o'clock. All right. 10 o'clock market goes up. That's five o'clock. Six. I didn't have anything at five. I did have something at four o'clock. Okay. Which was that one. It was a nice push up there. Um, a bit of a discord as you guys know, and then after seven, okay, so that's your six, that's your seven o'clock bar right there. And then eight o'clock there, we had a, and then we had 10 o'clock, that's nine o'clock, and that's 10 o'clock, right? So we had 10 and 1021, all right? So that's, we had 1021, 838 to 1021. Okay, and that's 8.38. All right, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10, and then bang, down. All right, that's gold. So that's, you know, that's astrology working for you all the time, every time. And let's take a look at the euro dollar. Goes all the way up to the weekly pivot. And you know what we do at the weekly pivot. So eight o'clock there, as you can see, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, and it's just bang. All right, so let's take a look at today. Now, today's astrological hours are, let's take a look. So today it's 7.47 at the moment. So I'm going to bypass the 8.13 one, but 10.55, all right, 10.55, then, Let's call that 10 feet. Yeah, again, 1055 today as well, just like yesterday, from 1055 to 130. All right. You need to keep an eye out also coming towards the 3 p.m. bar because there's going to be a move there. Okay, there's going to be a push that will bring us to New York opening. And then when New York opens, you're going to look at 6 p.m. bar. All right. And then we're going to end the night. 9.21 until 10.29. Okay, so those are your three batches. So let's take a look now with the gold. Now, as you know, we're in choppy zones here. This was a resistance. We talked about it before. No surprises, the market coming down here. No market, no surprises that the market is choppy. I said, this is going to be a choppy region. And that's what it's turning out to be. So no dramas there, really. Today's PST is 49, which is 1802. So you might want to use that as a leverage. Um, so use 1802, which is down here, to work with your astrological hours. Um, just note, all right, gold could come all the way down here, all the way down here. We talked about this yesterday. We've got room to come down as well. So be mindful. Um, just make sure you're using your time and price together. That way you will always, right, 99% of the time, you will get enough to cover your trade. 
All right. So even here, if you bought here, you went up there enough to cover the trade. It didn't go bad. It still went with us because I talked about 4 p.m. yesterday uh, in the live analysis. There was like New York opening. We had a bit of a discord disruption, bang, and then bang up, and then the market starts turning. Boom. Okay. So nice downfall from there onwards. So yeah, use that level. Market has the potential to come down. So don't forget about that. And on the daily, um, if it breaks down, you see where we're going. We're going back to this trend line. So be careful. All right. You can follow that down. Actually, when I say be careful, you can trade it down. Let's take a look at the euro dollar. Now the euro dollar, there we are. You see we're in this mishmash zone as well. A lot of whipsaws there happening. Going up, down, up, down, up, down. And as you can see, like this is so classic, going all the way up to the week period. Bang, yesterday, the day before yesterday, sorry, we had a sell opportunity there. We still had the sell opportunity here. And the market did sell, but not enough. Took us to weekly pivot and then banged it down again. It's just a classic. Now we can get rid of these. All you have to do now is sit tight because this could be going anywhere. You can see we're in a rectangle situation here. All right, plus a flag formation, plus a pennant. You know, it's all happening. You got a pennant, plat flag, sideways formation, all of them together. So sell at the tops, buy at the bottoms. All right, that's the way we want to go. US 30, nice push down. Okay, nice push down. This had room to go up on the PST. As you know, from the beginning of the week, I was saying, okay, look, you know, this could go up. But look at the price. On the PST price indicator, it just stopped there. And now it's coming all the way back to a good buy kiss. All right. So yesterday, how could you have handled this? Well, look. I did say we could come back to these levels and we should be coming back down to these levels as well. So a bit of a pullback is in order, right? And from here, it's, you, know, you can then start going long again because that is a good impulse wave and now we're just having a retracement. Obviously, buying at the tops is a drama and I always say don't buy at resistance levels. Let the market come down, buy on a support. And that's where we're coming to. So on your PSDs, check out your numbers. This video is for ATA and ATAM users. So you guys know your PSD levels. Come down to those PSD levels, 36, 1, 2, 4, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, here, okay? Let the market come to you and then use your astrological hours to loop around, right, to turn around. So we've got room to now obviously come back down a bit more and on the weekly as well, down to that goodbye kiss, which as you know, is a classic situation. And that's your 55, 56. And that is your 35, 8, 9, 6. Let's take a look at what else? Let's take a look at let's take a look at Bitcoin and Ethereum. Also, I said we'd be ending the night at midnight. And at midnight, we really had strong aspects. At 10 o'clock, we had something really influencing cryptocurrency. So that was like spot on. And there you go, guys. Beautiful. And I've been encouraging sales on these. Let's see when the market did sell yesterday. Okay, so they sold at the 12 o'clock and the one o'clock bars. So 12 o'clock, one o'clock was their sell zone yesterday. So I can just see how these are all influencing cryptocurrencies. Wow. Okay. Okay, so now what to do with Ethereum and Bitcoin? Let's take a look at this first. Remember, I said we want to come down to these levels, the 3,000 levels. Some people were laughing at me the other day. So it's not going to come down that far. It will come down. All right, and this is not a bad place to get in. Not a bad place at all. All right, as you can see, we're back down weekly. we got room to come down even more right down to here. So that's down to 3,000. We're at 3,400 now market coming down to these levels is a very, very logical. Very, very logical indeed. This is your trend line. We could be coming all the way down to here. And that's your 3,000, 2,900, 800. Look at these levels. So very much doable and no problem for the market to do so at all. 2,770 looks like a good deal to me. 
all right, on your PSD for the month, do you have that? Well, you definitely have 2,848. So 3,000, 2,848 were coming down. All right, and I said we would be coming down. So no dramas there at all. Just follow it through. You should have been selling in any case every time the market moved up and look at that weekly pivot again down. This was the resistance channel top. Then this is the breakdown. Okay, this was a classic situation, impulse wave consolidation breakdown. Same with Bitcoin. I said we were coming down to the 40,000 levels. This is where we're coming down to. As you can see, this is where we're down at. See how nicely the market's come down. All right, very nice. Market coming down to the 38s, 39,936, 40,000, PST level looking good. All right, we've got a few more targets down there. So I suspect the market will come to that 40,000 level, 39,000 level before we start picking up. Okay, let's take a look at NASDAQ. Joe likes NASDAQ. Let's take a look at NASDAQ. Now, NASDAQ fell on Tuesday right contrary to the others this went exactly according to astrological hours yesterday let's take a look this is your 1 p.m all right that's your 1 p.m bar and we had something at what 12 17 so we had from 10 to 12 17 then we 10 55 to 12 17 we had yesterday as you can see that's the market touches the line and just goes down Okay, classic. And another thing that happened here, as you can see, is the opening at six o'clock. Didn't have anything at six o'clock. All right. So the, I had something at seven o'clock, but that, there you go. Open there, closure there, and then the market just fell down. Okay, so this also, there you go. Beautiful fall down. Now with today's astrological hours, look at these targets we had from before. The market just came down, tumbling down. It's still coming down to all those targets we had from before. In fact, let me just keep these here. And that's it. You know, we still got levels down here. I marked these yesterday. These are your PST levels. Um, I think I marked them this week, I think. Yeah, they, that is a beautiful fall. So January look, looking like uh, downfall. All right. So obviously news were in um, impact yesterday. So having news impacting the market is also okay. We had things that influenced the market yesterday. Um, quite a few of them actually. But yeah, there you go. So yesterday's news. Let's take a look at this week. Right, there you go. Yeah, oh, there you go. Today's Thursday, Wednesday, as you can see, look at that bad news coming out for oil, but this is good. Okay, non farm employment change, that's good. And then we had the minutes, 10 o'clock, and the market just went berserk. All right, why? Because, yeah, because there was, as you know, yeah, moon and some special aspects there. Yep. All right. So those of you who know ATA, astrotechnical analysis, that was also going to be important yesterday. 10 o'clock. Wow. Look at that. 10 o'clock. By the time it's 10 o'clock, we're down here. Look at that. That's 11 o'clock. This is 10 o'clock. Beauty. All right, so with NASDAQ, what to do? Well, look, we've got room to come down now. Whoa, is it worth now turning this into this? Let's take a look there. Well, that is like a double top in it. And there it is. Crikey. Okay, so there you go. So we've got room to come down a little bit more. We can open this up a little bit more. Let's get rid of this here. And there's a lot of push there. And on the weekly, we're breaking down. Wow. Okay. So this is going to, this could, this could turn ugly once we, if we break this line and the bottom of the channel. 
Okay, so be mindful. Up moves, good to sell. I think that's a really good impulse wave. Any push up, you can sell again. So I was. This is why I was a bit weary buying at the tops. I said I really don't want to buy at these resistance levels because simply because it was just like you know, there you go. You're already at the tops. So the market collapsing rather well actually. All right, so we can follow this up. Actually, any up move, you're good to sell starting from these levels here. The market pulls up, go for it. Use your astrological hours. You see they work. You see they work. You can pick your own working hours if you know astrology. All the best.